So, Linda, we just had a, a talk from you about uh, magazines and their unique position in the media landscape. I wanted to talk about a few things. One of the things was the notion that you brought up of, of sort of an attention deficit economy. Can you define that for us? Um, Sure, eight second attention span, <laughs> one twentieth of a second to decide whether to engage with an ad. So People, less attention than a goldfish, that's what you were saying. Uh, yeah, <laughs> less attention span than a goldfish, which has been sort of fueled by the 24-7 hyperconnectivity, constantly bombarded with messages and communications, constantly um, initiating and reacting to them, and so and trying to do four or five things at the same time, multitasking. Um, all of this has led to trying to move through things much quicker, and once you're trying to move through things much quicker, you end up with paying less attention to each one. The brand, brand equity of magazine media mm -hmm pulls people's focus. So when they are quickly looking for content sources that they trust and that they feel are um, effective or will give them the point of view that they're looking for, they will, they will be attracted to those. Okay. Well, print, first of all, print tends to be, you, you tend to have more of an immersive focused um, approach to print and you spend more time with it, um, it's more relaxed, it's less frenetic, there's no dings and alerts and distractions that actually come and, and take you out of the moment. So when people disconnect specifically to indulge in me time, they want that uninterrupted and a print version of a magazine offers that, that respite. Uh, does that work across demographic or is that an older reader kind of attitude towards digital technology? Well, according to our um, polls results, it's actually across generation, including the 18 to 24 year old who actually scored higher in seeing magazines as a great um, me time escape than the older generation. So what's the, the biggest advantage you think print has over um, screens? Print magazines, particularly. Well, the print format has a huge advantage in terms of, from a neurological standpoint, because it commands a multi-sensory experience. It also, because of the topography of print, people absorb information in a print format more easily. They have greater depth of comprehension and they have greater retention after they've read the information. So, for a marketer, that helps seed their brand in the brain, and a print format is the most effective that they can use in order to accomplish that. Thanks very much. You're welcome.